Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to the third day in the morning session. Uh, yeah, not much talking, maybe later. So let's get started. To not get uh, injured, it's really important that you always invest some time warming up properly. And how do you know that your warm up is okay? It's because you slowly also start, of course, that your body starts to sweat. So let's slowly start. Let's go. Feet together. Yeah, stand straight. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hundred, good. Squats again, Marbu. This time try already if you can. With a complete flat palm, touching the ground. Again, open three steps. One, two, three. This time when we go down, uh, try touch. If you can, the floor with the flat hand. Let's go. Also 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and here, stay down, and stay down, you can use the inside, here the inside of the legs, and of your triceps, yeah, open, open the hip, open the hip a bit, relax the torso muscles, especially the lower back, yeah, pay attention to your lower back, try to release the tension from there, just stay 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Then slowly here, stand up. Good. Then let's start rotating slowly hip. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are at the hip already. So swinging the leg outwards, lifting the knee outwards. Then other leg, lift, rotate outwards, a round movement. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, one, two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, in this in this exercise that we just did before, you see my lower my lower leg was still bent, so it just hangs down because the main emphasis is here, this area, okay? So that's why when I lift, I lift, see this here still like hangs down and then I just rotate outwards, okay, here. Yeah. So now, next exercise looks similar, belongs to the same family, but this time the leg uh, is almost, almost straight. So look at the movement. From here it's like one, two, it's not a kick. Three, four, five, six, seven. So really let the let the leg extend as much as it can. And it can only extend if you don't add tension into the leg. So swing out and let, let the momentum, let the momentum of that, of that swing of the movement do the work. Okay, 20 times starting with the right leg, arms you can use to balance yourself. All right, right leg start, go, one, left, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Squat down again. We are touch ground. Touch ground. Yeah. Open this area here. Three, four, five, six, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, here. Legs to the front, lie on the back. Okay, all flat. Then the head lift up so that here the head doesn't touch the floor. And then let's go with the head uh, 50 times. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 50, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, and then stand up. Okay. So I think right now, I don't know how many minutes, so around 10 minutes, 12 minutes, we did some very easy exercise, it's really not difficult. It's just you need to push yourself, just go through it. And then afterwards now, if you look, uh, you should actually already be sweating. Good. So now for the next part, let's do some more leg flexibility. Uh, leg flexibility, I think it's also really important that we start where, um, that we're starting where the root of the legs are, yes? So the root of the legs is the same like our arms also have a root. See, the arm has a root, this, the shoulder is the root, and then afterwards we go from the root, we go out until the fingers. And the same is like with the legs. The legs also have a root, which is like this area here. Here, so this is the reason why so often we have to open, open that part, so squat down, Again. Okay, now, then from here, left leg, try to bring it out, okay, right heel is flat on the floor, left heel is up. Uh, see here look if I don't have any power in the right leg anymore then it looks like this yeah like like a flat tire so there's no there's no power in there there's no pressure in there it's just a little bit it's not this is too much this is too less it's something in between so you always have some base some base uh, pressure, some base tension in the body. So then from here, if it's difficult for you to move to the other side, first you can also use your hands. So from here, switch side. Up, up, up go up, then support yourself. Go down, same here. Okay. Yeah. 
this part of the leg here, stretch it down here. If you lean a little bit to the front, you will feel the stretch down here, inside of your thighs. Then switch side. Now left leg inside of the thighs. Switch. 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 Also the knee here. Uh, look for yourself how you are placing the left foot. This is not is that it doesn't feel comfortable for the for the knee. So figure out for yourself. That's why you start slow. Figure out in which angle this knee must stand for you not to have any pain there. And then 
let's just stay here. 30 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, and 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, okay. okay. So now make some light jumps, but only on the ball of the foot. On the balls of the foot, so your heel don't touch the ground. Very lightly, so get used to that the whole body weight. That the whole body weight, yeah, you only place it down with the balls of the foot. See, very light, but the heels are not touching the floor. Just on the balls of the foot. So, and in the same way, how now the heels are up. Yeah, you stay with the heels up. Stay with the heels up. Place the hand behind the head. So now right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow. Ah, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, stay up. Stay with the heels up. Stay with the heels up. Okay, and one more round, 30 times, and behind the head, and right leg start, go, I go slow together with you, right leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Good. Now relax. Good. Then let's go. One more time. Plank position. Uh, no. Let's say push up position. It's okay if you use the palms, but normally it makes sense. For the martial artists to use the fist or whatever posture you want to condition and just stay okay here when you're staying in the push-up position yeah, straight straight is also okay a little bit yeah this this part a little bit up yeah like you see here it's also good, but not like this. This, no. Yeah, bring the core up. Let's say 50 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, and now try ten push ups. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. So, approximately half an hour now. We have some warm up for this morning, it's okay. Now let's focus a little bit on movement and also coordination of the body. So let's go. Uh, yes, let's start easily. Left leg is in the front, right leg is in the back, hand you bring up. Okay, then from here. Step in, knee up. One. Again. Step in, come up. So this is the first part. The right leg out, right knee up. Okay, so from here, left. Then you come back. Then right. Then you can come back. Okay, left knee up and back. Right leg up and back. Left knee up. And back. Right knee. Up. And come back. Okay, so left. Back. Right. Back. Left. Now, kicking, first the knee, then the leg, okay, first the knee, then the leg, right, kick, okay. one, down, knee, kick, back, knee, snap kick, back, knee, snap kick, back, one, two, look at the height of the kick, it's not up here, it's here, it's below my belt level, don't need to kick high, just look for the clean movement, knee straight, knee out, one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, good. That was just the introduction. Now, uh, you see uh, the arms right now, they were just like hanging, hanging down here, doing nothing. And uh, before they are doing nothing, we give them something to do and at the same time can practice therefore again how to combine timing, body coordination, balance, all of these things. So right now together with the kick we add just like don't make a hard, don't make a hard fist, just like make a fist. Okay, look. Uh, right leg is together with the left fist which means here then left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay you have it right leg together right leg together with the left fist left leg together with the right fist And then just change. Don't use power, just use movement. Okay, right leg is starting. We go 50 times slow. Not so slow, but no, let's go. One, down, left, two, down, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, relax. Okay, very good. Relax a moment. Now, then same exercise. Let's do another another round of kicks this time we don't use the fist this time you're trying to with the with the palm with the left palm you try to touch the right uh, top of the foot I forgot the name but so like this yeah one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Plank. Fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Okay, now we go into a left kongu. Left leg is bent, right leg is straight, yeah? right fist is out. From here, one, two, now look, kick and punch. Three, four, five. Again. <coughs> yeah, left, left combo. First, one, two. Three, four, five, and again. Left leg is in the front. Let's go. Left leg is in the front. Right fist is in the front. First of all, left foot open. Then I lift up the knee. Kick punch at the same time. One, hold the balance. Step down. Open the palms. Turn the body, look at both feet. And horse stance. Okay, again. Now slowly connecting the movements together, here, and go, one, two, again, and one, two, and again. One, two, and again, don't use power, don't use power, okay, and one, kick punch, two, turn, again, One, hold the balance, two, and again, one, two, one, two, One, 
Stoß. One, two. Okay, continue. Yeah, until now, I was like always counting, counting, counting for you. But now, for example, that you have this sequence. So from the, from the gong wu, then comes kick punch, then comes the ma wu. Now that you have the sequence, and also that I have told you what to pay attention on, so now it's really important that you also learn that your attention this time is not, uh, is not actually outside from you. So you are not watching at your teacher. You are not watching at the screen. You are just watching now that you have the movement, you have the knowledge, and now it's just about you figure out for yourself the, the even smaller details, okay? So for example here in the way how I teach the students over here, I teach them the same way like I did it for you. I show the movements, I count for them, but then actually comes the most important time, which is the self-practicing time. The self-practicing where your attention is not oriented outwards. It's purely oriented, let's say, first of all, to observe yourself. So then it means there's no more talking. Okay, now we can talk again. So since this uh, live session started, since that live session started, you know, in the past always there is so much free content also available where I really focus mainly on breathing, movement, 
especially slow and soft movement in the category, for example, of Qigong, exercises to increase your body awareness, all of these things. But those live sessions right now, um, since the, that we started three days ago, actually it's the first time that I'm also starting to share with all of you how I do the training. How I do the training. So there is a big difference between what do I share out, for example. What I share out, these are different methods. These are different smaller, smaller, smaller blocks, smaller modules. Yeah, and there are so many methods existing, so it's up to you to actually pick out which of these areas would you like to improve uh, on yourself. But when uh, I do the training, then sometimes, of course, I also pick out different smaller areas and improve them, like just flexibility or just strength or just speed or just endurance or just conditioning. So it's plenty, but my basic workout is similar like actually what we are doing all the time. I mean, you have two trainings per day, 9 a.m. and 3 a.m. right now. I have four trainings per day, but I don't do four times the same stuff. But why I'm mentioning all of this is that after you learn the Qigong, after you have um, increased your sensitivity and awareness of your body, you have increased your breathing abilities. What are you going to do or what are we going to do with all of these things? Well, this is exactly the point where everything that we're doing right now over here, things are becoming faster, things are becoming more intense, things are becoming more stressful, things are, uh, they, they need more energy. Well, so now, in this type of training, it's the time for you to figure out if your Qigong practice, if your coordination practice, if all of these things actually really have an effect or not on you. Yeah? Simple, because this is all of what we have done right now, for me, is Qigong a little bit faster. But that's it. So this movement, for example, that we just, this sequence, uh, actually, it is a Kung Fu sequence, but if you want to practice it in Qigong style, it's also in there. It would look like this. Look. Okay, so sorry, I was just like, um, I was just like playing around a bit. The point is, for me, Qigong gives you breathing abilities. It increases your skillfulness when it comes to the breath, meaning also the usage of your energy. 
at the same time, Qigong practice improves your body awareness, meaning you know what your body is doing. And body awareness and, and being very subtle and being very fine for what's happening inside of the body is easier being achieved when the movements are slow. Just like I showed you right now. But when I do the Kung Fu, when things are becoming faster, when things are becoming more powerful, it's the same energy that is fueling the movements. It is the same ability of, um, it's the same ability that you have trained yourself in, whether you make slow movement or you make fast movement, body coordination is body coordination. Yeah? And this is where the saying comes. If it doesn't work slow, if you cannot coordinate your body in a slow way, you will not be able to coordinate it when things become faster. If you can't move the energy, if you can't regulate your breath when things are still calm and you have time to do all of these things, you won't be able to do it when things become faster. But the whole point is that after we do the Qigong exercise, we put it into the area where it belongs to. And where does it belong to? Well, in the real life. In the real life where sometimes things are not slow as you wish they should be. Or as stress-free as we wish they should be. And this is why the Kung Fu is the way of how, how to express all of these things. So breathing, Qigong, stretching, flexibility, strength training, form training, basic training, foundation training, kick training, leg training, arm training, conditioning training, all of this comes together into, into one point, the Kung Fu practice, at least for us. But anyway, just wanted to share with you in case there are some misconceptions why I'm not doing Qigong anymore. I'm doing Qigong all the time. Okay, so last, ah, uh, wait. Last four minutes, push up time. Okay, get ready. Let's do, let's start with 20. 20 on the fist, no, okay. Yeah, top 20. Let's try 20. Okay, ready, and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, it's difficult to count and to breathe at the same time, but good. Now, let's directly move to our triangle. Let's do 10 of them. No, 15. Ready? Okay, just 15, I will not count anymore. Go. Good. Rest a moment. Next one. Ten. Ten here. Good. Yes. A few more minutes to go. Next one, come. Five. Let's try five. OK. 
Okay, you go five, go. Okay, good. So, thank you everyone for joining this afternoon, 3 p.m. next training. Tomorrow, still two more training sessions. Yes, and also right now, all of this training, uh, it's free for all of you to join. If you want to have more, content, want to know more about all of these type of practices or also about what my opinion is about the Qigong or all other areas. So on the YouTube channel from the Shaolin Temple Europe and also from my site, the Sheheng Yi Online, I think you find at least 100 hours of free videos. You just have to look at the channel up and down what we have uploaded within the last 10 years so first of all on the youtube channels you get it all for free second of all there is a site which is called shirhengyi.online on this site i have also uploaded some content mainly english but anyway over there you also have a lot of material at least another 30 hours or 40 hours of free videos. Then through the Shaolin online site, you have the free self massage, you have free form tutorials, you have free other practices. So there is no, there is actually no excuse at all that training costs money. No, it doesn't cost money. It only costs time. It costs time and it costs dedication. But the content is already out there. Everything else, everything else that is available, you don't have to pay anything. If it's about your health, if you want to improve yourself, you know, sooner or later, all of these live sessions, right now not, but later on, I will upload them all. So they will be there forever until whatever happens. But you just need to watch over and over these type of trainings again. There is no reason not to become slowly, step by step healthy again. But physical health is a very important aspect of us humans, but it's also not everything yet. Because we also need 
our mental health. And we also need the health of our, let's say, emotional world, or however you call it. So, and then when it gets deeper, when you want to work on deeper layers of yourself, which are not anymore superficial, well, then the truth is, it takes even more time and it takes even more dedication to go into this type of areas. Okay, but this just to mention, so in case somebody is always complaining that everything is about money, no, it's not all about money. It's about the commitment and determination you have and then you just need to research all the things by yourself. That's not a problem. Okay, but now, finally, I chose a nice one today. So enjoy the, enjoy the, the track and see you all this afternoon again.